Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Sheltered 2, where the Keepers of the Tea have been preparing for battle, and today I think we take the fight to the evil Church of Hope, because they have to pay, they must pay, for what they did to our big beloved bearded Bernard, and now we do have some people who are sort of okay at fighting, I mean they're not brilliant, they're not wonderful, but they are better than they once were, so Betty here, Betty can now use a shooty gun, which is all very useful, and Chris down here, and Will just here, they can now use big sturdy heavy hitting baseball bats which is very good indeed so a fight is most definitely on the cards however before we do go fighting it has been pointed out in the comments that we picked up a floppy disk at some point on our travels and these can be used to give us leader trait points which can be very handy indeed so let's pop over to here pop over to ye olde computer from ye olden times and pop in an ancient floppy disk now clearly i am way too young to remember floppy disks of course i am absolutely no idea what they are go and ask your parents kids so here we go, what do we do with this? So, oh, there we go, process floppy disks. So I think we only have the one. So here we go, pop the floppy disk in and see how this works. So a leader trait point has been gained. Okay, so just the one. Uh, now, what can we do with that? It looks like we can't do anything with that right now. We need two at least to actually get something going on here. But okay, so we can pick, you know, eventually when we get some more trait points, we can pick from these. Okay, I mean, what's that? What's perpetual energy? That sounds exciting. The leader will never need sleep. Crikey's, okay. How does that work? How do they not sleep? Okay, I mean, killer instinct. That would kind of go with Betty's psyche now, because Betty's very, very angry. She's traumatized. She's furious. She's all over the place. Her mind is a big mess. So killer instinct would be very good. Look at that. The character deals 50% extra damage with all weapons. Wow. That is very good. Dead Eye, 25% extra damage with all range weapons. Oh, there's some very good things here. There are some very, very good things. But alas, we can't do anything with this point right now. But you know what? We'll keep our eye out. We'll pick up some of the floppy disks, I'm sure, in the future. And soon we can grab ourselves some new traits. But okay, so confirm that for now. And also, while we're here, let's go and have a little nosy at the end of week report. Because we might as well. Okay, so faction reputation. This isn't going to make for this isn't going to make for good reading, I don't think. So the Church of Hope, they don't like us. They they don't like us, but I thought it could be worse. I thought that was going to be significantly worse. But okay, so minus fifty out of five hundred for the Church of Hope. I mean, I suspect maybe that's going to get a little bit worse very very soon. Now Los Muertos, they're sort of okay with us. 30 out of 500. So, you know, we're not best buds. We're not drinking buddies yet or anything. But, you know, it's better than nothing. And yes, ETK mob, absolutely nothing at all. They just do not care about us. Los Muertos, sort of, you know, a little bit in their good books. They might send us a Christmas card or something. Okay, all right, happy with that. And then events. Okay, so events last week. The outpost belonging to the New Order has lost its bonus. Okay, so the New Order must be a faction that we've not met yet. Okay, now I don't know exactly where the New Order are, so that's kind of irrelevant to us. And the other events we have no idea about because they're happening where we haven't been. And then events this week, okay, so three again that we're completely oblivious to. This one here, Outpost Strengthened, a recent recruitment drive by Los Muertos has temporarily bolstered its numbers. Strength level plus one, ah, up there. So that sort of, uh, that region over there that we're bordering, has become a little bit stronger because Los Muertos have got some more people on board. Okay, okay, that's fine. Of all the ones that they could have, you know, strengthened, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not so bothered about those guys because we're sort of in their good books a little bit. So that's absolutely fine. We're not going to go and attack them. So this does not really bother us. So, okay, so a number of events, but they're not really kind of affecting us. Okay, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Right, you are. Okay, right, now, how are people looking to go and have a bit of a fight? Are people okay? Right, William here is definitely not okay. His stats are all looking very, very bad indeed. So, um, so Will, you're doing nothing and you are cold. Oh yeah, we haven't got a heater down here yet, have we? We have not got a heater down there. Um, okay, we might need to think about that because people are going to spend quite a bit of time down here doing all sorts of bits and bobs. So it might make sense to get a heater down here. The only thing is the power drain, the power drain, a halogen heater. That's gonna that's gonna drain our power quite a lot. Um, okay, right, so Will, what do we want to get you to do? I think, I think, first things first, go and repair that bed, and then go and have a sleep. Get your tiredness sorted. And then Chris, oh, Chris's tiredness is wonderful. You're looking okay for that, but your other metrics are not looking very good. So you've been to the loo and you've had a sleep, but everything else is looking bad. Um, okay, you pop into the shower then. 
you pop into the shower. There we go. So we need to get our people ready to go out and have a bit of a fight. Um, how is everyone else looking? Um, Sharon, Sharon does also need a shower. Um, where are you going, Sharon? You're not going to go and eat anything, are you? Because that would be bad. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. Let's distract Sharon. So no, don't go and do what you thought you were going to do. Um, how about, how about you go and do some repairing of things? Here, go and repair the water purifier because that really needs repairing right now. And, um, and then go and repair the recycler because that needs repairing. Very important job. Is there anything to recycle? I cannot quite recall. I don't think there is. I don't think there is anything that needs recycling right now. No, not at the moment. Okay, so you go and repair some things, please. There we go. So hopefully, hopefully you can keep repairing things until the shower is vacant and you can pop into the shower, which would be good. Um, yeah, Chris has got his jobs. Betty. Betty's looking okay, except for a bit of a, a bit of a tea thirst going on. So Betty, go and have... I know it says water. I know it says drink water. It obviously means tea. Of course it does. So here we go. Right, so everybody can go and do some bits and bobs. Barbara. Barbara, how are you doing? Do we need to go and do some repairs up here? Um, do you know what? Let's go and repair the sort of uh, wind turbine thingamajigs. So get all those repaired. How is the uh, water collector looking? Little bit ropey. We'll go and do that as well. And the... Uh, hang on. No, we don't want to do this all at once, do we? Uh, everything else is sort of looking okay, actually. Yeah, everything else up there is looking sort of okay. Okay, right. That's fine. So Barbara, you've got something to do as well. You will, of course, be staying behind. Everybody else is going to be doing lots of busy stuff. You're going to be, you know, sort of, uh, you're going to be behind here, not doing the adventuring. But that's absolutely fine. Right, okay, so move time on. And Chris is deciding to do a little bit of a workout. Okay. I mean, that's good. I'm not complaining, Chris. It's very good. But here we go. Right, so Sharon has now done that. Right, hang on a second. Sharon's done that. That means Sharon can now... Oh, hang on. It's already in use. Oh, because Chris... Oh, hang on a minute. Chris, right, Chris, you missed your chance. I'm sorry. Sharon's been waiting for ages. <laughs> She's been in a queue. Right, you go and take a shower. That will be good. And then you can go afterwards. I don't think it takes that long for them to have a shower. But that water is looking a little bit low. It's looking a little bit low. And he's straight in. He is straight in. Okay, so now Sharon's going to go and get some food. So, um, yeah, hang on a second. Hang on. What food do we have? So let's open up the pantry and have a look. Uh, we have got quite a lot of meat stew. And if they're going out on a great big long journey, and then they're going to go and have a fight as well, I think perhaps giving them some lovely hearty stew is probably quite a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you know what? That's absolutely fine. You go and do that. Actually, hang on a second. Hang on. Can we make some more stew? Can we craft some more of that? Um, we can make pea soup. We can make potato soup. And we can make jacket potatoes. But can we make the actual... There it is. Right. Meat stew. Um, no, we need broccoli. We need broccoli and we need some more potatoes. And we need some more meat as well. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Foodstuffs. How are we looking for this? 86%. Uh, 86. And I guess that's 86. Okay. There's a rabbit up on the surface. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Barbara. Could you pop back up to the surface, please? Get us a very quick sort of snare trap set up. That would be very useful indeed. And then are we growing anything in here? Uh, no, there's no seeds in the planter. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Potatoes. That's what we want. Lots of lovely potatoes. There we go. Right. So people being busy. Better you could do with nipping to the loo before we go out. You know, just yeah, have one before we go, please. Just have a try before we go. And I think... I think I just heard the trap go. And there we go. Lovely, lovely rain is coming down. Oh, this is splendid. This is exactly, exactly what we needed. So how are we looking? So we've got rain, then a sandstorm. Not brilliant. And then rain again. Oh, this is very good. And you know, taking into account that four of our five people are going to be out and about wandering about the place. They're not going to be in the shelter drinking and showering and all that kind of stuff. We should... I imagine in a couple of days, have a lovely, great big supply of water, which we can then turn into tea in the sort of, you know, the as yet unseen tea filter thing over here. Okay. Okay. Right. This is very good. So Betty is looking very good as well. What are you going to do? You're going to go and have a chat about films, I assume, about cinema or whatever. You have a chat to Chris. Uh, okay. Yeah. Rain on surface. Yes, evidently so. Right. That's good. They had a nice chat. I think, I think you two uh, Betty, go and have a nap because you're a little bit worn out. And then, Chris, let's get you to drink some water. 
and then open the pantry, go and have some lovely stew. We need to make sure everybody is ready. We have to make sure people are prepared. Barbara needs the loo. That's absolutely fine, Barbara. You can do that all on your own. Right, hang on a second. Hang on, Will. You're very hungry. Ah, hang on. First things first, take a shower, please. No eating until you have showered. Then you can use the loo. Then you can go over and have some food. We haven't eaten all that food. There was peas. Where's the... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. That's what's in that pantry. Oh, the pantries aren't shared. Oh, I thought the food things were shared. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, I thought all the food things were shared, so it didn't matter what kind of food storage item we clicked on. Yeah, we just got the same kind of food list. But no, no, they seem to be storing different things. Okay, okay, well, let's go over here then and have some lovely stew. And I think, with everybody now done, I think that should be it. Um, hang on, who's still asleep over here? So, Betty and... Sharon are still asleep. I mean, Chris could do with a bit of a nap. I think when somebody wakes up, that would be good. So if you could pop into that bed and just have a bit of a rest, that would be marvellous. But I don't think it's going to take that long. Okay, hang on a sec. And then let's get to Barbara. Barbara, pop up to here, harvest the trap. And I think, I think going out in the rain counts as a shower. I think because she's standing in the... <laughs> it just stopped raining as she went outside. <laughs> It just stopped raining at that exact point. Okay, there we we collected some items, and um, yeah, we will never know. We will never know if the uh, if the rain would have cleaned her off or not. But never mind, never mind. Um, do you know what, Barbara? Repair the shower. Take a shower. There we go. It's absolutely fine. We have some good water now, so that's splendid. Right. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. There is somebody here. Hang on, Betty. Betty, answer the intercom. Hello. Are you nice? Carl, uh, word around is that you've started a new faction. I want in. What you say, I'm pretty capable. Okay, Carl, you are wearing a very, very good hat. I would not mind that hat. It's a very good hat. Okay, so strength one, dexterity and intelligence of two, charisma three, perception and fortitude of two. Okay, okay. I mean, I mean, it's nice that you've popped by, Carl. At the moment, I think we're okay. We're okay with the amount of people we have at this moment in time. We are looking for somebody new. I'm not sure that person is you, Carl, if I'm being completely honest. But do you know what? Let's have a chat about tea. Oh dear, that did not go very well at all. So Carl won't be joining us because Carl said that a cup of tea ruins a nice glass of water. So I'm afraid, Carl, it is a no from us. You know, despite your wonderful hat, but I'm afraid... It's a no. So farewell. Good luck out there. Do have a, do have a lovely time out there. Right, hang on a minute. Barbara, can you, when you've had a shower, go and harvest these plants, please? And how is everybody else looking? How are people looking? Um, William, yeah, he's looking pretty good. Hang on. Hang on. He's got skills. Oh, hang on. Yeah, people have been picking up skills because, yeah, they were running and reading and all sorts of bits and bobs. Hang on. Uh, right, so, uh, Will, what do you have? What do you have skills available in? You have two charisma points. Okay. Okay. Right. I mean, that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, right. Okay. So what two sort of skills do we want to give to Will here? Okay. So one of Will's points is going to go into soothing words. I like that. So it's a healing skill we can use in combat and we can attempt to cure a character of fear and it has a 50% chance of success. So that seems quite good. That's handy that we can have somebody around that can maybe help our characters, you know, get back into action and such like. So, okay, a point in that. And then I think we'll give him the other point in this. So Will can be super, super inspiring. So he's going to increase the mood of characters in the same room as that character by 15%. At the moment it's on 10, it can go up by another 5 to 15%. So that seems very good. I don't think he has any of the points available. No. I mean, who else has leveled up? Uh, Sharon. Sharon has leveled up as well. What do you have a point in, Sharon? You have a point in... a point in dexterity. Okay, right, so where do we spend this point? Do you know what? Let's turn Sharon into a bladed weapon specialist. That sounds very, very good indeed. So right now she has two points in blade specialization, which means that she does an extra 20% damage with bladed weapons. But if we give her the next point in this, that goes up to 30%. And I think we do have a bladed weapon because, of course, we have the stabby knives. However, hang on a second, hang on. Can she use the stabby knives? You need strength of four? Yes. She can use the stabby knives. Okay, right, yeah, let's give you a point in that then, please. 
Let's make you even more lethal with bladed weapons. I mean, it'll start small with a tiny stabby knife, but I'm sure at some point we'll find great big bladed weapons. We'll find, you know, axes and, I don't know, machetes or whatever. I don't know. But you know what? It's better than nothing. That is an extra 10% damage. So absolutely. So there we go. We now have a bladed weapon specialist, which is very good. Um, did anybody else level up? Christopher. Crikey. It's a good job we spotted these before you all went out. That would have been a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Right, you also have a point in dexterity. Is that it? Is that all you have? Yes. Uh, okay, right. So, Chris, what do you want to get a point in? I think let's give him fast reflexes. That sounds good. So this is a passive skill, so we don't need to, you know, switch it on or off to use it or anything. And it increases the chance of Chris performing a counterattack by 10%. Now, I have no idea what the current chance of Chris performing a counterattack is. I mean, is it 1%? Is it 20%? Is it 0%? I do not know. So I think giving him this has got to be a good thing because maybe, just maybe, someone will come along and, you know, boop him on the nose with a great big axe or something and then he'll, you know, boop them back on the head with a baseball bat. So, you know, that seems quite good. I like the sound of this. So, yeah, okay, fast reflexes. There we go. Right, anybody else? So, Betty as well. Oh, my goodness me. Betty has a strength point and I think that is it. Uh, okay, right, Betty, where should we spend your strength point? I think we spend that point on upgrading Betty's crush windpipe skill. So currently it is just on the first level. So she jabs the target's windpipe, causes the target to be winded, and then deals 100% base damage. If we upgrade that, it causes 125% base damage. It still wins the target, but it costs less stamina. So she's more likely to be able to do that with some other attacks as well, which is very, very good indeed. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of become a bit of a, a signature move of Betty's to just go and poke people in the windpipe and then kind of run off a bit and then go, ha ha, you're winded now. I don't know exactly what happens if a character is winded. I don't know what they can and cannot do, but it's obviously a good thing because it's a special kind of status effect thing. So yeah, let's give Betty a point in that, please. Let's upgrade Betty's signature move. So there we go. She's now a little bit better at jabbing people in the windpipe. And is that now it? Is that it? I think it is. I think it is. I think we just got to wait for... And it's Barbara. Barbara is in the shower. So I now think everybody else can tool up and get ready to go out. Okay, this is very exciting. Here we go. So let us set up an expedition. So here we go. Now, this is where we want to be careful with how we sort of line these people up because we want Christopher and also we want Will on the front line. So those two, they're going to have the baseball bats. They're going to stand at the front and hit people with baseball bats. And then at the back, we can have Betty, who has a shooty gun. And then, yeah, then we're just going to have Sharon, who is going to have the stabby knife, but she's going to be on the back row. But that's all fine. And look at this. Everybody is sort of getting along. So Christopher likes Betty and Sharon. And Will likes Betty and Sharon. And Betty likes everybody, which is brilliant. And Sharon likes all the others. Okay. Okay. This is very good indeed. Uh, right. Okay, so here we go. And now we need to tool everybody up with the appropriate weapons and kit and equipment and all that kind of stuff. Right, so hang on, let's just give everybody all of their stuff. Right, I think everybody's got the stuff they need. So Christopher here has got a baseball bat for booping people on the nose with. And also he is wearing one of the very fancy new improved stab proof vests that we made not that long ago. And William is kitted out in exactly the same way. He's got a baseball bat and he's got a stab proof vest. And these two are wearing the stab proof vest because Christopher and William are going to be on our front line. And the stab proof vest mean that you get a 30% reduction to any melee damage. And I think, now I'm not sure, I am not 100% sure, but I think only the people in the front line of combat can take melee damage. Anyone anywhere can take, you know, range damage because you can shoot at anyone. But I think only the people on the front line can actually take melee damage. You have to attack the people on the front row if you're doing kind of melee combat. So that is why these two are wearing the fancy vest. And then Betty's got the shooty gun and some binoculars and a bag. And Sharon has a stabby knife and a bag. Of course, we're taking some bullets for Betty because otherwise her gun is pretty rubbish. And then because we're going out with the sole purpose of having a fight which is not something we normally do. I mean, all the other fights we've been involved in so far, we've kind of, you know, happened across. They've been accidental and we've not caused them. This time we're going out to cause a fight. So we're going to take with us, just in case, we're going to take two first aid kits and four lots of bandages. So if people do get injured, if they're bleeding or whatever, then we can try and heal them up as best we can. Okay, I think that's it. I think we are ready. We are ready to march to war. So, okay, we need to go. I think we go over here. I think we go over here because I think this is where we first encountered the church. And that is one of their outposts. I think, 
I think we have to go and take them on in an outpost. I don't quite know what happens when we do that. I mean, what happens with the outpost if we win? I do not know, but we'll give it a go. We will give it a go. I think that's what we need to do because these things are quite prominent. They're quite prominent and there's a flag there. So I think that's their kind of base of operations. So if we take them down, I guess all this is then just sort of open and free for anyone to go and sort of wander about rather than having the church kind of roaming around the place. I do not know. I'm not sure, but there we go. Let us set a path for war and head over in that direction. So how long is that going to take? Only 6.3 hours. Okay, okay, this is very exciting. Yeah, okie doke. Right, so you go and do that, please. I think Barbara, I think Barbara might come out and sort of see you all off. She might do a spot of gardening while she's doing so. Oh, and hang on a minute. What is that just there? We've got ourselves some lovely uh, some meat as well. Right, so broccoli, very good. And broccoli, very good. And guess what, everybody? It's broccoli. And um, yeah, go and get the, uh, go and harvest the snare trap as well. Thank you very much. What's that? Uh, leather, bit of meat, very handy. And some animal fat and some bone. Actually, actually, oh, hang on. Barbara's really, really hungry. Barbara, hang on. Pop down to here. Have yourself, do you know what? Have some meat stew. Everybody else had meat stew. Feels a bit unfair to make you eat something else. So you pop down here. Have a lovely bowl of meat stew. Can we cook anything? Have we got potatoes? How are they looking? Only 49%. So uh, we might be able to make one lot of meat stew because I think we have got, uh, no, we've got four potatoes. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Let's make, let's make four lots of that then. There you go, Barbara. That'll keep you busy for a while. I think while everybody is out and about, let's get Barbara doing some crafting. She can just make some very basic things. So let's get her to make some glue because that's quite handy. So make, I don't know, four lots of that because it does use a little bit of water. So we have to be a bit careful. And then we'll make some lenses because they could be quite handy. So make four of those and then make two, I don't know, what do you want to make two? Two lots of wiring because that can be useful as well. So there you go, Barbara, that will keep you busy as well for a little while. While everyone else is out having fun, you can just go and, you know, make some stuff. Okay, hang on, the expedition party needs some attention. That's absolutely fine. Hopefully, oh, it's an encounter. I was kind of hoping that we could avoid encountering the church until we actually got to our location. So everybody would be, you know, on tip top health and such like, but okay, right. It looks like we might have to have a little bit of a, little bit of an early fight, you know, warm up fight, shall we say. However, while Barbara's been crafting over here, we now have unlocked speedy engineer level three, which means we have an increased workbench crafting speed, which is very, very good. I'm very happy with that. Okay, that's wonderful stuff. Right, let's go over here. What is going on? Yeah, we're a couple of squares away, members of a faction. Okay, encounter in grass with Church of Hope. Okay, there's only one. There's only one of them. I would still like to run away right now. I know we're giving the church a fight, but this is not the fight that we want to have. We want to make sure that everyone is healthy and well before we go into the actual proper big conflict because we don't know how difficult that's going to be. We might be facing off against four other people or something. So hopefully, hopefully we can run away a bit. Nope. Okay, fine. We've been dragged into a fight. I'd like to think maybe, maybe we could take this person out before they even get to go. So right, Betty, here we go. Use your wonderful crush wind. Oh, hang on. No, we have to have your head targeted, don't we? That's where your windpipe is. That's how that works. Uh, right, so crush windpipe of you and you've missed. Okay, right. Good job, Betty. Off to a flying start. Can we do it again? Yes, we can. Okay, try again. And you've missed again. Well done, Betty. We have a 50-50 chance to hit that person doing that. And we've missed twice. Unfortunate, but okay. Okay, never mind. Ah, look at this. The Church of Hope person is afraid of us. One of our people must have an imposing physique and it scared this person here. I mean, you chose to have a fight. We tried to run away. Um, okay, right. We can't do anything with um, with Betty, I don't think, because she has no stamina points left. So, okay. Right. End turn. So, Chris, right, maybe you can do something here. What skills do you have? Poison, punch, sleight of hand. Um, or we could. We could just go and do an attack. We could just go and try and boop you on the head with our wonderful thing here. And we've missed again. Okay. We've missed three times, three 50-50 chances we have now missed, and we can't do anything else with you. No skills, no items. Okay. Right, so now it's over to now it's over to Sharon at the back here. Okay, Sharon, what skills do you have? Uh flick sand. That could be quite good, causes impaired vision. Um yeah, okay, give that a go. Give that a go. So chuck some sand in their face. Hooray! Something actually hit at long last. Okay, so now they've got sand in their eyes. 
which means they have impaired vision, which is good. And then, can we do anything to them? No. We need more stamina. We need people with more stamina. Okay, okay, fine. Right, so they're a bit scared. What does that mean? They missed their go entirely. Well, now is the time. Now is the time. Please bop them on the head. Please hit them. And they've blocked. Are we just having the worst luck with this or what? My goodness me, this is awful. Um, right, you can't do anything either. Oh, he's got kick. He's got kick. He could try and kick them. He could kick the arm and break their arm or something. Right, Betty. Now I'm a little bit... I don't want to use your... I don't want to use the um, the ammo. Because I want to save that for the proper fight. So, um, okay, hang on. Use your skill. Crush windpipe. Again, come on. Hey! Oh, we got a critical as well. We hardly ever get that. Um, and now, can you... You can fire your gun, but I'd rather you didn't. Okay, right. Everybody else, let's just pile in now. So, melee. So, boom. And there we go. Subdued. So, not dead. Not dead. Just, you know, unconscious. And we will take all of this stuff you're carrying around with you. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. And some coal. Some lovely, lovely three-star coal, which is really good for trading. Okay. Right. Happy with that. Confirm that. Right. On your way. Come on. We have to get there. So, no reputation loss. Because I suppose we didn't kill the person. They just, you know, knocked out or whatever. So, okay, right. So, they can continue on their way to our ultimate destination. This is all very exciting indeed. Oh, hang on. Hang on, that's out of power. Uh, I mean, it looks powered to me. It looks very well powered in that the light is on. But apparently, that isn't powered. Okay, game, whatever you say. Okay, so just before we go to our great big showdown with the Church of Hope, let's talk about upgrades, because who wants to see a great big fight going on when we can talk about upgrading pieces of equipment? So yeah, quite a few people in the comments have pointed out that we have failed to upgrade, and in fact, I failed to even notice that we can upgrade a particular piece of key equipment over here in the bunker, and it's this just here. It is this right here, the water purifier. Now, I hadn't really looked at this. I just assumed that that was very, very closely linked to the water collector. So water would come through into here, into the water collector, then it would go to the purifier, and then eventually it would make its way over here into our reserves. That's kind of what I assumed it did. And I thought, Do you know what? As long as it's kept in good repair, as long as the integrity is high and it doesn't fall apart, then everything's fine. But no, apparently not. Apparently, it has its own upgrade tree just here for capacity, durability, and efficiency. And do you know what? We can actually upgrade the efficiency one. Oh, that's exciting. I mean, we might as well possibly upgrade it. But you know, one thing is, I'm not entirely sure what it does. I'm not entirely sure. So it says there, contaminated water, naught out of 15. So if we find contaminated water, now we have seen sort of dirty water on occasion, haven't we, on certain places. If we find bottles of that, can we pour it into the purifier and then it purifies it and adds it to the reserves? Is that what that does? And if we open up storage, do we have any of that? Do we have any sort of horrible, mangy looking bottled water? I don't think we do. I thought we might have seen some at some point. Maybe we left it behind because it obviously did not look very nice. But um, yeah, I think that's what that does. So I think it takes sort of, you know, grim water and turns it into lovely water, which we then obviously brew into tea. Clearly we do. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, maybe, maybe, just maybe, because we've upgraded the oxygen filter and we've upgraded the weather vane and we've upgraded the water collector. I think we should upgrade this. I kind of feel like it's been a bit left out. So, Barbara, why are you not doing too much? So do we increase the capacity so it can hold more contaminated water? Do we make it more durable so it doesn't fall apart quite as easily? Or do we make it more efficient so it works 10% quicker? I mean, the only one we can do right now without having to craft loads of the bits and bobs is the efficiency one. It does use quite a chunk of circuit boards, however, but we do get those quite readily when we do a recycling from, you know, laptops and all that kind of stuff. So do you know what? I think, yes, let's go for this. Let's treat this thing to an upgrade, please. So, um, Barbara, I know you're tired. I know you're tired. You were heading to bed. We're going to interrupt you ever so slightly. Just go and do... I mean, I imagine for you, Barbara, it's very, very simple. Just do a very basic efficiency upgrade on the water purifier. Look at that. She's absolutely flying through. And there we go. I feel like we've kind of, you know, done things fairly. And we have skilled builder can craft tier three... Tier three recipes. <gasps> Hang on, pause time for a second. Sorry, expedition team. Wait there. We can craft tier three things. What, from the, the drafting table? <gasps> oh, this is very exciting. Oh, there's a whole world of wonderful, new, exciting things. Okay, CCTV. Oh, that's exciting. So we get advanced warning of people coming to breach the shelter. It gives us a 30-second warning. Oh, that's very good. Um, A generator. Ah, 
here we go. So quite a few people in the comments have asked if we can upgrade the generator, because I think in the original Sheltered, you could do that. You could upgrade the generator and make it more efficient and use less fuel and all that kind of stuff. However, you can't do that in this game. But now we can make another one. We can make another generator. So then, yeah, we have to load it with fuel, but that will then sit and generate an awful lot more power. I think we do that. I think very, very early on, we try and get that done. Um, we've got fancy toilet, fancy shower, fancy punch bag, fancy treadmill, fancy bed. Uh, what's that? A water tank. Okay. A plaster room. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. Shelter inhabitants can start to feel more at home with coloured walls. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is what we want to get to. Everything has to be a plaster room and then we can get painting and it shall be wonderful. We've got fluorescent lights, a large medicine cabinet, a military storage crate, expand storage. Oh, right. It's just a massive storage expansion by 1,250. Wow. A convection heater. Okay. So a heater and a fan. Okay. So cooling and heating, a holding cell. Ah, that's what we need when we get into fights and we knock people out. If the person we're fighting is not dead, then we can just you know, bring them back with us, I suppose, and pop them into a cell. Okay, that's good. A large greenhouse. Uh, a landmine. Okay, slightly different things, but okie doke. A lightning rod. The lightning rod harvests power from lightning strikes, but then stores the power inside any batteries in the shelter. Yeah, we don't have any batteries. Apparently that's a blueprint you find, but we haven't found it yet. And um, what's that sink? Ceramic sink and mirror. The sink not only allows faction members to wash their hands, oh, that'd be good, reducing the chances of contracting food poisoning when eating by 50%, but also lets them change their hairstyles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, you know, differing purposes. One, stops you getting horrible, horrible, awful stomach bug. Number two, you can, you know, give yourself a quiff or whatever. Um, soap can be added to a sink to increase the reduction to 100%. So if we have enough soap, and that sink, that means that our people are not going to get ill, no matter how grubby and, you know, horrible they are. They're just going to wash their hands, eat food, and not get ill. Oh, that's very good. Oh, that is very, very good. Okay, right, splendid. And a microwave. Tier 3 meal crafting. Oh, there's so many wonderful things. I mean, the generator seems immediately appealing. And we need a bit of metal and some motors. We could do that. We could do that, and that generates a lot of output. That will give us so much power. I mean, the things upon the surface are wonderful, but this thing here, a new generator, would be very good indeed. Okay, Barbara. Barbara, well done. A whole new world of possibilities has opened up. However, you are very, very tired, Barbara. So, do you know what? Fix that bed. You know, you've got to, you've got to earn your sleep. And then go and have a bit of a rest. Meanwhile, everybody else is going to be fighting, because I think they are very... Very nearly there. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. I don't know what to expect. I think when we went in last time, there were two people because we just we sort of wandered in last time, didn't we? We just sort of meandered in and went, "Hello, what's this?" And they said, "Oh, are you here to trouble us?" And we went, "No, no, we'll just leave." And we cleared off. I think there were two people. However, I don't know. It says they're difficulty level two. Does that mean there are two people? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, this this is this is very exciting, but I do feel sorry for the Church of Hope people. Yeah, there's two people. We were not expecting a visitor to the Church of Hope Sacred Headquarters. Do you bring hope or despair? Yes, we do. This one here, this baseball bat is hope. This one here is despair. And oh dear me, Church of Hope, you should be very, very afraid because Betty is here and you have angered Betty. You made her very, very angry indeed. She is going to tear down your church brick by brick, Church of Hope people. Oh, dear me. Yep. Okay, so here's Betty, and we're going to have a fight. Thank you very much, because that's what we're here for. Okay, so Betty is up first, and now don't hold back. It's absolutely fine. This is it. This is all out war. You took our Bernard away from us, so this is it. This is revenge for Bernard. So, uh, yeah, Let's use an aimed gunshot. Let's fire at this person here because they're going to get another go. They're going to get a go, you know, sort of next. So hopefully, or actually, do we want to? Do you want to crush their windpipe? Because that will take them out of action. Oh, that's tricky. Shoot them or bop them in the windpipe. I think, do you know what? Let's bop them in the windpipe because that is one of Betty's things. Um, Yeah, let's crush them. They crush their windpipe. So boop. Right, they're dazed. I think that means they now miss their go. So let's go over to you then. 
So can we fire at you? know, we can crush your windpipe as well. Will it work? Ah, oh, missed on that one. Botherations. Um, okay, and I don't think we can do anything else. No, we've got no skills, no items. Okay, right, so end turn. So he is dazed, so he's going to miss his turn. Okay, right, Chris. Um, let's take out that person there then. So what have you got? Poison punch. I mean, somebody being poisoned is probably quite helpful. So poison, okay. Okay, that person there is a very slippery customer. Try and poison them again, because that is good. And we've missed again. We're not having much luck at hitting people, are we, this time around? Okay, I mean, we are trying to hit their head, but it is only a 50% hit chance. I feel like we've not had, we've not had the, so, you know, the luck with us. We're not the rub of the green. Um, okay, right, this person here, assess opponent or flick sand. Or we could just go and smack him around the head. And um, we can probably have two goes at this. Yeah, okay, do you know what? And, oh no, no, you're not, you're, you're stabbing them. Okay, it's you at the back, of course it is. Um, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and they're dazed as well. Okay, go over to this person and melee attack them as well. So, boop. Right, one down. One down. Oh, the church. The church of hope. You've messed with the wrong people. Betty is furious. She's absolutely delighted. Now, right, here we go. Now, doesn't he... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Doesn't he have kick? Yes. Okay, so if we pick... I don't know, your leg. If we pick your leg and then go use skill kick, uh, we've got the right amount of stamina... So an attack which targets arms or legs, dealing 200% base damage, has a 50% chance of breaking the targeted limb. So here we go. Let's see if we can... This is a bit unpleasant, but do you know what? It's the Church of Hope. So, boom. And, yeah, we've, we've broken their leg. And now we might possibly shoot them as well. So, uh, yeah. Aimed gunshot at not at their leg. Shoot at their body, Betty. We've not had much luck sort of firing at the head. So here we go. Uh, yeah, use skill. Aimed gunshot for Bernard! And, okay, it was a good shot. It was a good, solid shot. I don't think we can do anything else. I think Betty is out of action points. That person's definitely not going to be doing anything. Um, Okay, Chris. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what? Go for the head. Here we go. Let's just go for the head. And boom! Oh. <laughs> or not boom. Do you know what? Have another go. And... Oh, no. This is you. How, how tricky is this person to hit? Wow, we're really, really not having much luck when it comes to the 50-50 hit chances, are we? We're having terrible fortune. Um, yeah, you've only got two points left. Okay, so now you are going to get a go, I think. Uh, ah, you're preparing to run away. I think not. I think not. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's just... Let's, yeah, melee attack you. Go on, Will. Go on. And another miss. That's remarkable. That is actually genuinely remarkable. That the, the odds of that must be very, very tiny indeed. Um, okay, do you know what, Betty? Here we go. Shooty gun, just anywhere. Here we go. For Bernard once again, and I just did a melee attack with a gun. <laughs> I meant to do shoot single. Right, here we go. This is gonna be better. <laughs> For Bernard! And this guy is still standing. I mean, yeah, I'll give it to him. He is resilient. I will give him that. Um, okay. Uh, right, who is this? Chris. Come on, Chris. One final hit. One hit. Boom. Dead. Lost reputation. And that is it. That was for Bernard. That was for Bernard Cupboard. You took him out. So we've taken you out. And look at that. There we go. Bladed weapon. Bladed weapon. We need strength 12. But yeah, Sharon can use that. Sharon can use that bladed weapon. Because of course it has a blade. It's got a big pointy blade on it. And they've got some very good stuff. A gold nugget. Oh, that's very fancy. Um, some rice. Okay, that's nice. What's that there? Silver nugget. And some water as well. Okay, right. A bit of water. Never a bad thing. And a pipe. Hooray for a pipe. Do you know what? Take everything. We've got loads of carry capacity. And there we go. I mean, Bernard's death is not avenged. Absolutely not. But there we go. Victory. Victory for Bernard. Oh, I'm sure he was watching on from somewhere. Um... Okay, so we can't take that one. Oh, that's a lieutenant. Oh, that was a member and that was a lieutenant. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we can't take him prisoner because we have nowhere to put them. But okie doke, there we go. Right, they, um, they really don't like us now. They're very, very cross with us. We have gained control of this region. What does that mean? Hang on, do we now control that whole bit? Hang on a second, hang on, hang on. Barbara, wait there a second. Wait for your sleep. Um, hang on, uh, view map. 
So hang on, we control that. Do we control this? Controlled by the keepers of the tea. <gasps> we now have a whole new region. This is all ours. Oh my goodness me. I think we should call it not not Grass Plains. We're going to call it Bernard Land. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it Bernard Land in honour of the great man himself. Okay. Um, right. I don't really know what to do now. This is all ours. We don't know what's down here. We've not even been down here yet. But okay. We have ourselves our second sort of region. That is very good. Now the church, I think, do own that still. So the church haven't gone. And they're down here as well. But we've kind of... We've pushed them back. We've pushed the church back. I think we could probably take them over here. Difficulty level one, difficulty level... Ah, that's three. Okay, so that might be slightly trickier. But difficulty level one, I think maybe we could also get this forest. We could also go and get that as well. Now, the big question is, do we go and do that right now? I kind of want to go and do that right now. I think that would be quite good, just to go over here and over here and surge in and get them. But... Let's just be careful. Let's be careful. Let's go back home, take our things back. We can always, you know, get our stuff together, go and have a nice sleep, have a nice meal, have a celebrate, of course, because, you know, we've just avenged, not entirely, gone a little way to avenging Bernard's death. And, you know, sort of, you know, rest up, recuperate, then come back out and go over here. However, I don't think it would be too bad if we were to go over there, pick up some stuff from the reservoir tank, and then pop to the church and then go home yeah i think we'll do that because then we might find some useful stuff as well and i think we do have enough travel rations so yeah okay there we go traveling squad you go and do that uh, and now barbara yes you can now go and have a sleep barbara there you go good night okay so pretty slim pickings over at the reservoir tank thing so a bit of food a baseball bat four bottles of water which is not too bad that's okay so that means we're bringing back eight water that's actually okay. That's quite handy. But okie doke, right. So that's that done. Then on to the church and then back home. And meanwhile, Barbara can keep everything ticking over back at the bunker. So go up here, harvest the snare trap. I think somebody just turned up. Is that a trader? Yes, it is. Hello, trading person. It's Grace. Hello, Grace. What do you have for sale? All sorts of shooty paraphernalia. Um, okay. Ooh, a shotgun. Trade value 180. Required dexterity of 10, but we do have shotgun shells. I don't know how many. We've kind of got rid of a few of them. We've got, we've got loads, 25 shotgun shells. Is it worth acquiring a shotgun? It might be a good idea. Okay, the only thing is we need to get something that's worth 180 in terms of trade value. Hang on. Organize that in terms of trade value. Oh, we could give away, we could give away one of our camouflage vests. They are worth quite a lot. How about we get rid of one of those? We can always make another one of those. Oh, look. And the food. The food is quite good. How, okay, how about a meat stew? And uh, what's that? Trade value of 40. Okay, how about... There's a 9% chance of success. How about... I mean, we can make more meat stew. How about... Oh, hang on. Lenses. We made lenses with the sole purpose of trading them. So how about we get rid of the meat stew and we just do... There. Yes. Okay, do you know what? We have a little bit of sort of extra capacity there. Uh, let's buy, I don't know, some shooty shell things. Um, and maybe a bullet. And another bullet, possibly. And another bullet, possibly. 90% chance of that. We'll give that a go. And there we go. Oh my goodness me. We now have a shotgun. Okay, this is very good. Um, right, they're searching the next location. Right, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara. What do you need? To actually get this extra generator in. So wiring, yes, bulb, yes. So three metal and four motors. Okay, I mean, three metal should be fairly straightforward. So go and do that now. Okay, so three metal done. However, to make ourselves some motors, we do need quite a bit of stuff, but it was only four motors, wasn't it? So if we do that, I think that does leave us with enough wiring to actually get another generator in. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay, hang on, hang on. I notice that that is falling apart. Go and repair the heater thing, please, because we need that working. Oh, and hang on. They need a bit of water as well. Hang on a second. Harvest that plant. Oh, and they've, they've gone there. They've searched that. Okay, what have you found? Um, Not much, but you know what? It's all good. Some more water. That's where it's quite handy. Right, now make your way home, please. Make your way home. And... um. Yeah, you go and water those because they're nearly ready to harvest, I think. So that's handy. Oh, oh, they were ready to harvest. 
I thought it said 99%. Right, that's that's quite a lot of potatoes right there. Can we now craft a lot of this? Yeah, well, four lots, as much as we've got meat. Okay, yeah, make four lots of that. That's very good. And then possibly, let's put the generator down here, I think. So we can have one up there. I kind of feel like the generator should go somewhere else. I think the generator should go next to each other. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. Slight bit of reorganization. Rearrange the shelter. Storage there. And little bit of storage there. Then move that over to as near as you can. Move that over like that. In fact, no, move that down into there. Move that into there. Move the generator just there. Confirm that. And then go to here, craft tier three object, shiny new generator. Right there, please, Barbara. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> They've encountered uh, survivors. Okay, okay, hopefully this is not too bad. It's Sarah, and she has a smiley face. No, I won't go. Oh, wait, you're not from the church, are you? Absolutely not. No, not at all. They keep trying to recruit me. What do you want? We want the church to go away. Please fight them if you see them. Um, would you like to do some trading? Why not? Um, ooh, oh, all these good weapons are appearing. Um, a rifle. I mean, that does sound quite good. A rifle with ammo. Hang on, we've got coal. Would you like this coal? And would you like this hor horrific looking nailed wood weapon? Because we don't want that. Because that's not our kind of style. That's all sorts of awful. And this lens. Okay. Yeah, we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit extra actually. So, could we have, please? Could we have, uh, I don't know, some peas, and possibly that animal fat, and that lens? No, definitely not that lens. Do you know what? That will do the job. That's fine. Attempt that trade, one hundred percent. Well, a pleasure doing business with you, Sarah. I, I'm glad we bumped into you and not some you know terrible, awful kind of murdery people. Okay, is that generator done? Barbara, this is huge. If we can get this generator done, that is a massive increase to power. Okay, so currently it's got fuel in it as well. Let's add a bit of fuel. I think we do have some fuel. Um, and add a bit more, because we might as well load it up. And yeah, add a bit more, because there's no point keeping hold of it. And um, give it a clean. And there we go. We've now got two generators. Our power should be looking amazing. Opening the fuse box, uh, total power output... 40. Is that right? I don't really understand what I'm looking at here, but they both generate a qu qu her each. Okay, that's very good. And I think everybody is coming home. Welcome home, you wonderful people. Um, that broke. It's fine. Not so bothered. Take everything, pile it into storage, and there we go. Confirm that. Pause time for a second. Hang on, hang on. What are they talking about? Meat. Okay, they're having a lovely, lovely chat about meat. They've been out in the waste for hours on end, and now they come in, they're deciding to have a nice chat about lovely meat. Okay, right, pause time. I think we will finish up for now on a resounding success. That has gone very, very well indeed. The church have been pushed back. The evil church have been pushed back. They've lost control of this region here. How we defend this region if the church try and get it back? I have absolutely no idea because we don't have people at this outpost. All our people are over here unless we're supposed to post people to the outpost to keep an eye on things? I really don't know. I do not know. But I think next time, we'll try and work on the base a bit, I think. Try and expand the base. Maybe get some more sort of rooms and such like set up. And then I think as well, we'll try and go down here and claim this forest. Because we're not done yet, church. Absolutely not. You must be eradicated. You must be removed from the map entirely. So we'll go here, get the forest, and then go down here and maybe have a little look over there. See what's in that direction. And then take on the church here as well. But it's all very exciting. That went very, very well. Bernard would be proud. He would be looking down now and he's going to be all sorts of proud of what him and his sort of, you know, his followers and his friends have done. It's all going to be wonderful. So there we go. There we go. Well done, everybody. The Keepers of the Tea have certainly gone some way to avenging the death of big, bearded, beloved Bernard. But yeah, there is more work to do, and we will try to get some of that done next time out. But we shall wrap things up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Sheltered 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. The city of Cupboard, it can be full of geeks, very loyal geeks to me. It's this sort of stripy hill. 
That's interesting. Oh, a strappy mountain. Sorry, I, I downgraded you to a hill. Just really irritate the Norwegians. Everyone had gold. People were lying on beds of gold. They were eating gold. They were trying to wash their hair with gold. There was gold literally everywhere in our empire. 